Hello everyone and welcome to Jacket Educational Channel. So I am back with one more trick which will be very important for you those who are preparing for the environmental science or geological science entrance examination. So this trick will be on the basis of Bowen's reaction series which is one of the most frequently asked question and you should know the trick because it is going to help you in the long run. So let's start today's video. So this type of question comes for the Bowen's reaction series and you will know one by one what is the series how it is related to the igneous and other kinds of rock so the question is this question came in net 2017 examination the question is magma starts to crystallize when it loses heat during its upward rise to shallower level from a deeper source so the question ask which among the following is the correct bowen's reaction series so these are the name of the minerals or the rock which are formed through the crystallization process and you have to select which one is the correct series of Bowen's reaction. So I will tell you what will be the correct answer. Correct answer will be both B and D. Yes, if you can mark both B and D are having the same option. So it was a mistake from the net, but you should know the sequence will be olivine followed by pyroxene followed by hornblende, then mica, then quartz. So how to remember this and what is this Bowen's reaction series? We all will know in this short video. So don't worry. I will not take much of your time. So first of all, you should know that what are kind of rocks. I will not take much time. As I said, you all will be knowing there are very important rocks which are typically of three varieties: igneous rock, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rock. So today we are going to only discuss about the igneous rock because it is the topic of concern. आज हम बस igneous rocks के बारे में पढ़ेंगे. So these igneous rocks are formed from the solidification of molten rock or magma. So magma which is found inside the volcano when they solidified due to the decrease in temperature then they give rise to igneous rock so igneous ka bhi aapko pata hona chahiye there are two kinds of rock extrusive igneous rock and intrusive igneous rock so here you have to remember that extrusive igneous rocks are formed outside the earth crust and intrusive igneous rock are formed inside the earth crust so external that is extrusive internal that is intrusive like that you can remember So now we are going to our main topic, which is Bowen series. So in this slide, we will be able to know. So don't get tempted by this chocolate picture. I will let you know one by one. First of all, read the statement given in this slide. So the question is, how to know what is Bowen's reaction series? So Bowen's actually the name of the scientist that is a geologist was Norman L. Bowen. So he discovered this series in which he did certain experiments and observations of igneous rock. So what he did? So he did the he studied the crystallization sequence of typical magma. So you should know that when something is very hot in liquid state, for example, you can say that liquid chocolate. So when the temperature is decreased, that means freezing. When we used to freeze the liquid, then it becomes solid. So it becomes chocolate chips or chocolate bar. Similarly, when the magma that is very hot, you know, inside the volcano it is present. So it is fluid in nature. so when this temperature is decrease that means temperature change happens then magma slowly cools down and in this process from the liquid form it is turned into the solid structure that is giving different kinds of minerals so as the temperature decreases the sequence goes on and different minerals are formed at different temperature when the temperature decreases so i hope aapko samajh mein aa gaya so the magma वो है वो फ्लूड स्ट्रक्चर में होता है जब टेम्परेचर डिक्रीज होता है दैट मीन्स वेन इट कम्स आउटसाइड द वर्कनो यूजली वट हैपन्स इज द टेम्परेचर डिक्रीज इज सो इट सॉलिडिफाइज इन टू अ मिनरल एंड सिमिलरली वेन दैट मिनरल इज हैविंग लेस टेम्परेचर दैट इज एक्सपोज टू मोर लेस टेम्परेचर देन इट इज चेंज टू अन अदर काइंड ऑफ मिनरल्स सो दिस सीरीज वॉज गिवेन बाय नॉर्मल एल बोवेन सो दिस इज नोन एज बाउन स्टैक्शन सीरीज लेट सी हाउ दिस सीरीज लुक्स लाइक So this is the complete diagram which was given by the scientist Bowen. You should know this one; it is very important. And this only we have to learn the trick. So before learning the trick, I will tell you that there are two branches in the Bowen's reaction series. So this one left hand side is called discontinuous branch, and the right hand side is called as continuous branch. So what happens is there are two kinds of types of rocks are seen. So we have to know. that in this discontinuous branch that is the left hand side it describes the formation of mafic minerals so you should note it down m a f i c that is mafic minerals how they are formed from the cooling of magma 
it is shown in the discontinuous branch so what are this mafic minerals so this mafic minerals are actually the minerals which are mostly composed of magnesium that is mg and iron that is ferrous we can say fe that's why their name is given as mafic so what is this right one so this right branch deals with the continuous branch as we know as we have discussed now so this continuous branch is shows the evolution of plagioclase feldspar so the root note down plagioclase feldspar so this evolved from calcium rich to sodium rich so this sequence me here as you can see there is the meter showing the temperature decreasing so as the temperature decreases in case of continuous branch the calcium rich minerals are evolved to so they are changed to sodium rich minerals but in case of left hand side what happens this is the sequence for the olivine pyroxene amphibole and biotite which shows the mafic minerals so i hope till now you are clear and what is this one so this the third branch is actually the point in which all these two branch they are interconnected and the uh, single branch is formed so this branch is known as residual phase so now we will see how to remember this thing i am coming to the point so now we will learn how to learn this sequence so this sequence that is the first we will learn the discontinuous branch so here you should remember the first alphabets that is olivine o pyroxene p amphibole is a and biotite is b so from this alphabet you should learn that old people are boring so if you are learning this then you will be able to say that after olivine it is pyroxene then followed by amphibole and biotite so i hope you can remember like this the next comes how to remember that amphibole is the thing which is present here but here there is no amphibole here it is given hornblende mica and quartz so we can say quartz it here but where is this hornblende and mica so i will let you know that this hornblende is none other than it is the group of amphibole minerals yes amphibole minerals ke jo group ko kehte hain horn blend similarly biotite so biotite is the group of minerals called which are from mica group so in place of amphibole i can write here that it is showing the horn blend and in case of biotite i can write here that it is showing the mica mineral so now we are clear that olivine pyroxene and amphibole is horn blend then mica then quartz which is correct option will be option number b so till now we have learned that old people are boring now we came to know that amphibole is the group of horn blend so that's why amphibole a will be there and horn blend will be h so what we'll do h and a will make ha ha so as old people are boring we have to make them laugh that's why we have to make them ha 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 means h for horn blend which is similar to amphibole similarly what we have to do to know the biotite is the mica group of minerals so biotite will take the bio word and from the mica we will take the mic so you all must be knowing what is biomimicry such as copying or mimicking the characteristic features present in our nature it is biomimicry so from that word we will learn biomimic so biomic that means biotite is showing the group of minerals of mica so like this you can remember this so again i will repeat left hand side is the discontinuous branch which shows opab that is old people are boring where the temperature decreases and right hand branch is the continuous branch which is the transformation of calcium rich minerals to sodium rich minerals when the temperature decreases followed by this residual phase which is orthoclase muscovite and quartz so let's move to the next slide which we are going to discuss the final thing in our video the final thing is there are two other categories which can be given to the silicates that is dark silicates and light silicates so what are these dark silicate and light silicates so the dark silicates comprises of olivine pyroxene amphibole and biotite so these are the old people are boring that means the left hand side so left hand side was the formation of mafic minerals that means the minerals which are comprising of magnesium and iron are called as dark silicate and light silicates are the quartz muscovite and feldspar which are not having the much composition of magnesium and iron so this can be also asked in the examination 
so these dark silicates are also called as ferromagnesian that means as we have said ferrous that is iron is present and magnesium is present that's why ferromagnesian they are called because of the presence of iron and magnesium so today we have learned a very important and beautiful trick that is old people are boring but we have to make them laugh that's why ha ha so keep watching this channel and if you like this don't forget to share this with your friend and subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed till now